Welcome back to Drive 615. It's a beautiful morning here in Tennessee. I am on my way right now to the local car show. I saw on social media that Nissan is going to be bringing some vehicles to the show. I'm going to do what I did last time where I spotted that Z Proto out on the road and see if I can catch them on the way to the show. So let's see what we can find. Just spotted them coming out this way. I wasn't sure which way, but it looks to be a pretty cool truck in the front. Got a whole caravan. I will uh, report back soon <laughs> once I see uh, what the rest is. Okay, so we got a pretty cool Nissan. Looks to be a Frontier. Oh, there you go. Hold up. That is uh, definitely, so I was just waiting for confirmation by looking at it. That's got the back little spoiler on it, which means that is officially the 2023 Nissan Z, the actual real one, as opposed to the Proto, because the Proto didn't have that little back lip. And that is the Aria, I believe, the new electric vehicle. It's gonna compete with the likes of the Model Y and Mach-E, but there it is, guys. 2023 Nissan Z in the flesh. Don't want to mess up their uh, convoy, so I'll let them uh, come in right in front. It's pretty cool. So, I like it. A lot of you guys may think, oh, it's the same video you got last time. Very, very similar, except the only difference is here is the, uh, the actual real Z, not just the Proto. And again, that's what it looks like on the road. Got the lights lit up in the back. And again, you don't see that fair lady on the back, so you know this is the uh, actual Z, which is just so cool. So I think this might be, don't quote me, but this might be the, some of the first footage of the actual one, you know, on the road. And it, it's so similar to the real one, which is what they kind of uh, said, you know, this is gonna be almost identical, the Proto versus the actual vehicle, which is really cool. So a lot of times, you know, manufacturers come out with vehicles and they're pretty far off from the, uh, the spec, you know, of, uh, of what the actual vehicle ends up being as opposed to, you know, the prototype. Sorry if I'm at a little bit of, <laughs> a little out of it. I uh, wasn't expecting to, to see them so quickly. I, I got there early just so I could, you know, hopefully find them. And, uh, well, I got, uh, I got lucky. I'm going to park up uh, over here at the McDonald's and hopefully catch them coming in. What's up, man? How's it going? Good. What's up, Dan? Good. Check it out. Exhaust is fogging up the uh, lens a little bit. So, I mean, look, very, very similar, except no tire stickers, obviously. No badging back there, and you got that nice little integrated ducktail spoiler. That thing looks good. I think it ties it in from the profile nicely.
That's pretty cool too. That's the, again the, the Aria, which I haven't seen that in person yet. Obviously they got some cool trucks. I did the review on that. And I've done the review on this. I have not driven this yet, but check those videos out for sure. Getting them all lined up. so you guys can listen to it. Yep, keep coming straight back. Take a look right there. They still got the 19 since 1969 dash, so it's uh, still alive and well. So that's pretty cool. They kept it. That was an Easter egg that I pointed out on the first one, the Proto. That's cool that that's there. Like I said, Fair Lady Z diagonal batching here is gone. They've added the spoiler wheels are of course, well tires in this instance different. No tire stickers because it's not the promotional you know marketing vehicle. This is the actual one that'll be on the road. And there again is a good look. Racing forged wheels on this one. I'm trying to see exactly what size they are. Uh, 255, 40, 19. That's what we got on the front. And in the back, we've got 275, 35, 19s. And again, these are the Forged wheels. I think these are incredible, honestly. Like the, these almost look like some uh, type of like aftermarket wheel, and this is what's coming on here from stock, which is really cool. Some good uh, Z's rolling in right now. But let's get some more footage of this. So I honestly can't recall if this is a. I think this may have been a little bit more dark on the one that I reviewed. Maybe in my mind is just playing tricks on me, but this does look a little bit more um, like pronounced, I guess, with that kind of silver tone through there. Take a look at this. As you can see here, there's just a lot of little detail. Four rectangles in each column. Here's the inside for you. Pretty cool. It's obviously starting to draw a lot of attention. You wanna you wanna spot me on this? Yep. I do. It's called a drive drive six one five. Yeah, six one five. Yo, I just got a new subscriber. Shout out to this kid. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, it's gonna be on, on my on my YouTube channel. Oh, when? Is it gonna be oh, when? Yeah. Maybe, oh wait, Ram Turek. Maybe today. Who knows? <laughs> All right, he lost interest quick. <laughs> that kid <laughs> saw a truck and he was out.
So this is actually pretty cool. So we got the, the Z backing in. Take a look at the C8 rolling in as well. Very similar colors on these two. This one's a little bit more greenish, I'd say, but uh, there's a C8 convertible for you. Can't tell you the year though on that one, honestly. Um, probably 21. There you go, look at this. There's always a Supra rolling by whenever I'm filming this car. Last video, there was a Supra. Got a Supra rolling in. This would be a good uh, competition there. Little Z versus Supra. Obviously, competitor here in a little bit more toned down color. But uh, that's pretty ironic. Like I said, last time I was filming this, the Supra rolled by and I was like, here you go, what would you take? So I'm gonna ask you guys again, what would you take? Would you do? Supra or would you go with this um, you know I like both cars honestly so it's tough to say but uh, this is really cool what they've done with this vehicle and um, again seeing it kind of come from prototype to this again very very similar which is nice so we got a 370 coming in Pretty cool. Let me show, yeah, let me come over here real fast and look at this. A lot of the uh, inspiration from those rear taillights on this one came from the 300 ZX. So if you get a good look here, you can see these stacked ovals. And if I was to come over here, pretty much um, identical to some modern, modern touch on it, but the most part, very similar, which is pretty cool. So on their social media, they kind of posted some like teaser shots and uh, they posted this, they posted that, and when I saw that, I knew it was the, the Z. They posted a shot of the wheel, and I was pretty positive it was the oh, yeah, but oh. Wow, that's interesting. It's a right-hand drive. <laughs> I did not realize that when I was following him. I was so focused on uh, this guy that uh, right-hand drive. And again, like I said, this is electric. Meant to compete with the Model Y, Mach-E, I believe the I-Pace. How are you, brother? What's up, man? Getting some good... Uh, Shots here. Good this morning, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, for all sure. Right. Appreciate it. Sure. Thanks for bringing them out. First time. Yeah, first time for this. Both? Yes. And that. Yeah. I knew it was the, I that, knew it. That was the debut car. Debut, okay, the yeah, one. So the there's one. only there's the two, the yellow one, the blue one. Blue the one. Yellow okay, cool. Yeah, so I was looking to see if it had that rear ducktail spoiler because then I knew it was the. That's the yeah, that's, 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 the, that's the official one. That's cool, man. All right, a couple more things. Oh, hey. We got our. Uh, sign there so obviously you got the Z right here I got the Aria right there just different color and that's the Japanese right hand drive spec but take a look at this so he was pointing this out trim pieces are exactly the same except on the Proto it was carbon fiber this is not carbon fiber but this still looks good to be honest um, I'm sure people will come out with aftermarket carbon fiber parts but there's that. Obviously no button here to get in, right? That was on the Proto. Here's the actual door handle. That's pretty cool, actually. I didn't see that. So there's a little dot right there. Keyhole. And then that's how you uh, actually open the door. But it's pretty cool. Another little shot of the inside for you. Still got that pretty design through the center of the seat, like the one I reviewed. Get a little shot of this from S2. And this kind of black gloss trim through there. Looks so clean with that license plate, I'm telling you. And that is, uh, that's cool, but uh, that'll come off as soon as the person registers it. Kept that sword that I uh, mentioned in the proto. People, people love that, and they uh, kept it. And the last call out is on this one, is a little bit uh, smaller smaller brakes than what was on the Proto, but other than that, literally, uh, you know, to a T, identical. I like that 
on the uh, brake caliper there, the Z badging. Of course, I love the match of the paint to color to the caliper. And that's pretty cool too. When you look from the front, you can see the three overhang gauges. All right, so there is this. What I'm gonna do is uh, go get my truck that I <laughs> ditched in the parking lot currently. And then I'm gonna walk around some more. We'll go back and uh, take a look. All right, so they opened up the hood. So uh, here's a good look at that. It's obviously V6 twin turbo. So that's how you keep it up, so it doesn't have the shocks. But uh, there's that, he's opening up the back. We'll take a look at the back while he's back here. He's got to know how to put him in. Very carefully, actually make a diagram. Very carefully, yes. Well, they believe in golf. It's a Japanese car, so yes. they believe in golf. We're talking about how to put golf clubs yeah. in the back? Yeah. And litmus test for the trunk, right? <laughs> Dude, that, that's what it is for me. Like, two people, two bags. When my two brother two bought it. All right, let's go look at the hood. Underneath the hood once more. Okay, look at this. Pretty cool. I always like to look at the underneath side of the hood sometimes. Just comment down below, guys. What are your thoughts of this vehicle? Do you love it? Hate it? Feeling different? Oh, you're good. No, you're good. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Guys at Nissan are so nice to me always. What do you see? Anything good? I think I see struts. Oh. Uh, oh, got it. Thank God. Alright, so while I was walking around, uh, Nismo GTR snuck in. This is really sick. This is a, oh, I think a pre protection vehicle. They actually got that on there. Sometimes they don't always have that indicated, but take a look at that. That is killer. Look at this carbon fiber wing. Absolutely massive. This is gorgeous. Holy cow. You guys know I did that review on the. 21 GTR Premium, but this is sick. Look at that, every little piece, you could have carbon fiber, there's carbon fiber on this Nismo. All right guys, so there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Getting some footage of the 2023 Nissan Z out on the road. That was really cool to see it. I'm super glad I saw it. I also saw the Aria. That's the first time that both of those cars have been on public roads. So I'm really glad to capture that and bring that content to you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to subscribe, like, comment, share this video, and we'll see you guys in the next video.